Hey guys, this is Saurav here and a few days ago I posted a video regarding Reliance Geo's hidden features or you know loopholes like uh, the 50 rupees per GB plan was not for uh, you know mobile data it was for Wi-Fi only and I really in that video told told you that the calls made via, via you know Volte e-network which were free but you know I also said that the calls were you know somehow alike with the Skype calls or other calls that we, which are made by WhatsApp or Viber and few people of you just told me that I was not right uh, the calls are the technology is different so then I researched by myself and I come to realize that well I was not wrong I was around 95% right in that statement and so today I will be I will be doing a separate video like I said them I, I told them that I will be doing a different video so yes the video is here and in this video I will be telling you how Skype WhatsApp or Viber calls have been made and what's the basic difference with Volte E are they different or are they equal or there are few or are there very few minor differences between them so guys if this is your first time in this channel my name is Saurav welcome to Take Yard and do subscribe to our channel if you haven't done already and let's just hop into the video so guys I am first starting with this Skype or you can take WhatsApp or Viber in the same case but all of them uses the same technology it is called VOIP so what's VOIP actually is I will be telling you about that later on but first let me tell you how Skype works well when the Skype was invented it was only available for computers or laptops so what you have to do you just have to use the Skype app or you can easily log on to their website and from there then from that website or that app just have to you know type you the person you want to call might be their email id or the phone number so you just type their uh, you know detail and you start on you just click on calling well you just call that guy and then the information goes to the skype server from that from there skype server starts finding if that guy is online or not if that guy is online you two can connect to each other and then you two people can talk so this is how skype worked i'm not I'm not going too deep in this case I'm just giving you an you know physical overview of the whole fact there are a few and if I just go deep the video will take a lot of more time so I don't want to do that right at the moment so when it happened Skype started using their own protocol which is P2P protocol stands for peer-to-peer -peer, the same protocol that we actually use for torrent downloads well that's illegal in India but yes it does use it still now so now coming to Skype calls when you two people get connected via Skype servers you two people become two different nodes around the globe in the internet so guys why do people become a node around the globe via internet and you people started talking your voice actually became data when you just you just say hello it gets recorded by your you know the headphone or the mic you were using and it gets transferred into digital signals get stretched to the you know the skype servers and from there it gets to the person who is with which is online with you so it actually work in that way so yes in that p2p protocol you could have sent files via skype and now coming to guys uh, a little bit you know after that now a few years later on mobile phones became more famous than the desktops or laptops because technology if it evolution was there it was prominent and smartphones started to arriving even more iPhone was there Blackberry was there and mobile phone became the main medium of talking to each other and Skype thought that it's the time to go mobile and they started launching apps for mobiles and it was there for you know iPhones for Blackberry and I, then came Android so yes the for smartphones Skype was always there and you could have called any person you like in this world via Skype using your internet connection I mean the internet connection of your phone and at that very time 2G and 3G was there 4G was not invented so the 2G speed was pathetic like it is still now 3G speed was somehow good but 3G was not available and it was not that much cheap like 2G and there was also Wi-Fi that you can use and you can get a you know high speed internet without using without you know spending a buck on your mobile data so yes these three things were there 2G, 3G and Wi-Fi so Skype started using 2G, 3G or Wi-Fi connection to make calls internationally or to anyone in this world which is having a same you know either a Skype account or using the computer or mobile phone anything they want. So when this thing actually happened the VOIP calls or the VOIP technology which was there for you know PC or laptop 
termed as MVIP, which means Mobile Voice Over Internet Protocol, is actually the mobile version of the VOIP, nothing else. The, the things were same, the data goes to first the Skype servers from their moment, from there it goes to the another guy who is on in line online with you. So yeah, the processor was, the entire thing was same. And when you start, started using Wi-Fi, a better connection than 2G, I mean for most of the cases. So a better connection than 2G and you get a good quality, you know, good quality audio, uh, audio calls and that was great and it was termed at VO Wi-Fi, voice over Wi-Fi and when 3G arrived and well let me tell you that there are two basebands for 3G, one is HSDPA and another one is HSPA. HSDPA is basically used for you know transferring calls because HSPA, the 3.5G technology doesn't have that feature of you know transferring calls. HSPA and LTE are basically data only uh, you know networks, they don't have the ability to transfer calls. So in case of HSDPA, when you started using the HSDPA network and HSDPA data to make calls via Skype, WhatsApp, whatever you want, it termed as VOHSDPA. So there were terms like this, but we generally use that VOIP because the basic, the basic architecture, the basic idea is called VOIP. Now guys, I'm coming to VoLTE. I had to say whatever VoIP is and I think that it was enough for you. But if you think that VoIP was not enough for you, if you want to know even more, do let me know by the comment section below, hit me on Twitter, anywhere you like and do let me know that you want to know about that. I will be doing a separate video on that. So now coming to VoLTE or LTE to be precise. LTE, so a long term evolution. LTE actually stands for long term evolution and in LTE, LTE is basically a data data network. It doesn't allow, it just allows you to you know transfer data. It doesn't allow you to transfer voice calls. Yes, that's the biggest drawback. So now I'm coming back to an example. If you're using an Airtel 4G, you will notice one thing. Whenever you, I mean Airtel 4G, Idea 4G, anything you want, or Vodafone 4G as well. If you're using any of them, you will see when you, even you are in 4G, when you are gonna call any guy, any person you want, the network gets degraded to either 3G or 2G because uh, 4G doesn't allow to call anyone. LTE network doesn't have that ability. So now when Geo actually arrived, Geo had only 4G spectrum. They don't have uh, 3G spectrum or 2G spectrum. So they have to use the 4G spectrum. So they started, you know, not only Geo, it was previously, you know, invented. When 4G, 4G providers uh, started uh, to thinking about how to, you know, transfer calls via their network because LTE is only a database network, they came out with another new, you know, invention, which is termed as a, as a fall a fallback procedure. LTE tech networks have a feature called fallback procedures that actually help them to send voice packages or voice data via their network to any other person in this, I mean, any other person having the LTE network as well. And this is somehow, you know, revolutionized the whole uh, VOIP thing because the whole procedure, the mechanism which was actually the same, the circuitry, the all the things, the mechanism, how to send the voice data pack, how to packaging the voice and how to create into digital data packages. So all the things which were there in VOIP gets, you know, included in this 4G LTE network and it termed as, termed as VOLTE. So when you, while in Reliance Geo, you are using VOLTE, it's nothing. It's actually, uh, you know, you are using the same architecture as Skype or WhatsApp or Viber call. The architecture is completely same, the mechanism is same, the procedure is same. It, it works the way VoIP calls were used to work, but there are a few difference. VoLTE calls, I mean, they actually are using a very high, higher level of, you know, data transfer speed. So those calls are very good. Their audio quality is very good. And even video calls in VoLTE networks are pretty damn good. This is the one thing. Second one, if you just use VoLTE network uh, and rather than using a normal 3G or 2G network, VoLTE calls, you know, eats up less amount of battery. But in our cases, in our Redmi Note 3S, uh, Redmi 3S Prime, we face that the phone gets heated up while we are calling on VoLTE. So that's kind of, be a, that might be a problem with that exact device. I won't be, uh, you know, won't be telling a lot of things about that. So guys, I hope that you have got an idea that VoLTE is actually, uh, you know, a, a higher speed version of uh, what we say, VoIP. If you just, you know, if you start, you are using the voice over LTE network, try to remember the name defines everything. First, we are using VoIP, the voice over internet protocol. 
voice over internet protocol you are using your internet and you are trying to send your voice as data you are using you are currently you are using LTE network and you are trying to send your voice as data to another guy and the reason Reliance is facing a lot and lots and lots of call drops is because other companies doesn't have the LTE support I mean the VoLTE support so when they are you know try to you know VoLTE calls those are very high grade calls and other companies networks doesn't allow that that much so even when me and Pratik are talking the call drops are is a frequent issue and we having a, we're facing a lot of problems with um, VoLTE to non VoLTE uh, you know networks so guys this is all for today I hope you enjoyed this video and do give us a like if you enjoyed this video dislike if you didn't enjoy this video do subscribe to our channel if you want for more videos like this and on other subjects as well Till then bye, people have a great great day and I hope to see you in my next video. But before that I let me tell you that Moto G4 Play is coming and maybe we'll be doing a in-depth review of that with FD aspects. So stay subscribed, we'll be receiving you in my next video. Bye bye now.